like outside of college you realize that the test is like trying to find a job like that's the huge test hey guys it's Trader Wit and welcome back to my channel I finally moved to Austin Texas I know this video is about the reality of getting a job after college but first I kind of want to talk about my experience in college and how I was able to obtain the job that I have now I graduated in May uh, of this year I basically applied to really anything that I could get my hands on the one job that I really really wanted was a social media job which is like a social media manager Washington University did a study approximately 53 percent of college graduates are unemployed or working in a job that doesn't require a bachelor's degree i went to school about roughly 35,000 students you take that and you take that number by half and you realize that half of those people are probably are not going to be working in a job field so the first thing that's very important is to make sure that you're very prepared of applying to jobs. There's so much resources um, at the university that you would never know that you had. I know that we had like a college career center, which we could be able to go in and talk to advisors about our what we wanted to do with our careers. And I remember maybe three weeks before, the lady, the advisor, she worked with me like with my resume. So she kind of tweaked some things so that way um, I got more interviews. I would say resumes is very, very important. So that's another thing that you have to be prepared for. If, if it doesn't catch an eye, then easily like, people will just throw your shit away. Like, and I get it, I understand, like, when you're working in a huge job field, like, of course, like, you want someone who you can trust. Really just be prepared, find an internship. I know that's what I did for the longest uh, towards my junior and senior year, I did that. Start building your network, that is important. If that's not one thing, oh my, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Literally, the job that I got now was because of my network. It's because I had someone in my class who helped me land the job that I have now. Build up your network, talk to everyone. I have a video about this. Talk to the nerds, talk to your professors, talk to advisors, talk to anyone that you can and just build your network. So the second tip of applying to jobs is being proactive. I think honestly, I was over proactive, if that's even a word. I was just applying to jobs each day. Like I think I even told my mom and I think I have a text message. I was like, mom, I'm literally applying to three jobs a day. About 21 jobs a week that I'm applying to. And it's crazy, I got denied all of them. Damn. And also another tip of being proactive is just don't always just apply to one site. I mean, there is ZipRecruiter, there's LinkedIn. One website that I really loved the most was Indeed and Google. Um, you just type in the job that you want and then it will start listing out like the areas that are close to you or the city that you would like to live in. So what I'm saying is just don't apply to one job site because sometimes that can like hinder your search too um, due to the, the many applicants that they can get from that one site. So take variety of them and sometimes they have the same job on another site so you never know this next step man this is what is very controversial that they do not teach you or or it's not even that they don't teach you but they don't tell you after college the one thing that separated me from another candidate are you ready was my experience i'm gonna talk about entry level jobs Entry level jobs are jobs that you get, you know, you don't get paid as much trying to build your way up. I would see that the entry level jobs would be like 10 years of experience or six years of you knowing this skill or five, you know, it, it ranges from there. How the hell do you expect someone that's fresh out of college to have over five years of experience like that's impossible it's obtainable but it's also impossible i'm sorry but that's bro and i honestly think that's really wrong for like the job market in the u.s right now it's just how messed up that could be and again i'm going off of my experience the only thing that's like i said that separated me from another candidate was because they had like x amount of experience than i did yeah <laughs> yeah it's so it's so rigged man so now some tips on how to build your experience luckily for me i had about two or three years of experience due to me taking extracurricular shit like after college and then i also took some internships um towards my senior year so that way i can put on my resume as much as experience that you can put on your resume is honestly worth it and honestly put the years 
um, that you've worked there that will literally do you justice in applying to jobs. All right, my next tip is to research the market that you're trying to get into. So just like those research projects that you know you had to do in school, you also need to research the job markets to see if it's declining or if it's increasing. Like for example, when we were in a pandemic, most of those nursing jobs, they needed more nurses. So they hired a lot more nurses and the job market from there just went skyrocket. On the flip side of it, there are some other jobs that realize that, hey, we need to cut our budget and we need to get rid of some of the employees. Um, and so some jobs kind of decline from there. And I will honestly research the job description too, because whenever you take your resume, my biggest tip I could ever give is to mold your resume into that specific job. Listen to this, this is what I did. For each job posting, they had obviously different job descriptions and different skills that you needed for that. Sometimes they'll be the same, sometimes it'll change up. So what I would do is I would take my resume, I made so many resumes. So each job that I uh, applied to, I would make a new resume. And and I, no joke, took the job description, kind of put some stuff that I could put on my resume that kind of like pertains to me. And then took all the skills that they wanted, put that all in my resume and sent it out. This is the huge tip that I could say that has worked for me, at least for a little bit. Because you think about it, when hiring managers are looking at so many applicants, they're looking for the skills that they need or want in that individual. So if you already have the skills that they want, it's no, it's obvious that they're probably gonna call you because they can't say no at that point because you have what it takes. But there's another side of this and I don't wanna get you in trouble. I wouldn't necessarily just do this to every job. Like for example, I'm not no freaking engineer so I'm not gonna, you know, build my resume and say that I know how to, you know, chop wood when I really don't know how to do that, you know? So something, you know, you gotta really think about to see if you're really qualified for. And so yeah, that again, that's just researching the job market um, and just molding your resume to fit that job description and those skills. All right, my last and my next tip, it's going to be to create a portfolio website. It's so important, especially for my creative designs, mass communication, theater, um, a public relation, um, I feel like I'm missing art. It is so easy for you to just take your website that you have and just send it to the hiring manager through email or through any hiring um, job site that you can find. I would take that website whenever you start building and I will start putting all the courses that you took. Uh, if you don't know how to build a site, trust me, it's really easy. They actually have so many videos on YouTube that will be able to teach you. And I will also put some in um, the comment box below. We'll make a separate video of how I got my job. So if you wanna see that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below. I wanna say I'm not an expert of everything. So, you know, obviously take all of these tips with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, guys, I love y'all and good luck in your job search. You got this, don't be discouraged. So yeah, I'll see y'all on a brand new video. Peace out.